Coming up next on Diamond Keys TV. Through the hurts from domestic violence, lupus, and breast cancer. That's the goal of Saturday's Pain to Power events hosted by the Positive Reflections Community Outreach Foundation and her sister. Attendees turn from a panel of women who share how to celebrate life through dealing with certain obstacles. Several women business owners were also present to sell their products to people and network with the community. Positive Reflections President Janine Stevenson says the organization's mission is to empower young girls and moms to succeed in life. If you look into my Welcome back to my channel. So today, as y'all can already see, it's going to be a productive week video. Okay. So today, uh, particularly, I'm going to my first speaking engagement. I'm going to bring you guys along with. I will be speaking about my domestic violence experience. This event that I'll be speaking at, I showed you in my last video. If you guys are frequent with watching my videos um i let you guys know that i'll be speaking at the pain into power event but if you are new here and this is your first time clicking on my video hello my name is diamond edwards of diamond keys tv and um i want to invite you to subscribe uh don't miss out on none of my videos you might as well subscribe right now like right now okay come on y'all let's go Can I get your attention let's go before the lord in prayer so we can get started here amen This one I got to be the job. Me, I know get time I did that, but I'm the dog by my face. The best of all is in our community. Big in my way. She's really good. She's been speaking and she's going into a whole thing, and you know, it's just phenomenal. She's not got me. Hello, hello. 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 I am the owner and founder of Diamond Keys Beauty Spa. Okay. We are located in Love's Park. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are interested in the facials, semi-permanent makeup, y'all make sure y'all come see me, okay? Amen. Amen. All right, so today, I have the pleasure of speaking about domestic violence. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so let me tell y'all about this piece of man that I had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, now that I got y'all attention, mm -hmm. The reason why I say I had the pleasure to talk about domestic violence is because I was a domestic violence survivor. Mm. Oh, <laughs> take your time. Yep. Yes. Take your time, sweetheart. Take your time. Look, I'm, I'm like a baby. Don't, don't, don't tell me that. Look, don't tell me that. <laughs> Speak okay. old. Domestic violence make a 40% of Rockford's violent crime rate. Mm. So far in 2023, we are at 42%. Wow. Over the last six years, 60 to 70 percent of our kids who have been arrested for violent crimes have a previous documented history of being exposed to, to domestic violence or sexual violence or either a victim or a witness. Mm. Get this. From February 1st, 2023, this year, y'all. To August 31st, 2023, 52% of the clients at the Family Peace Center indicated that they have been strangled by their abuser. Mm -hmm. In 2016, I also was a victim of strangulation. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to say that. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yeah. My first point. I didn't want to come on here talking about my abuser. I do want to project his uh, mental health. Yeah. Because it all comes from mental health. Yes, yeah. right. He was charming. Most abusers are. Yeah. Okay, let's let's be clear. Yeah. But 
I do want to put it out there. I never knew until today of him being a witness of domestic violence. My second point is my mental health. <laughs> Had I been in my right mind, I wouldn't have went through two years and a half of domestic violence. Amen. Amen. My lack of guidance, my lack of love, me not being real to myself, yeah. every time I accepted his sorries, I lost a part of myself. Yeah. This for me to be able to speak in front of y'all is like therapy to me. Amen. I mean, I, I've been I've been married for <laughs> I've been married for two years, but still in all, it's like it's remnants that's there. Yeah. Yeah. So me talking to y'all right now is still a part of therapy. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I want to say, um, God allowing me to go through this yeah. to encourage you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to say, y'all gotta always remember that God has a plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you choose your own plan, yes, He's not gonna Come pull on. you up out of it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna let you know He's gonna make you go right through it. Yes. And while you're going through it, while you're going through it, it's to build character. All right. Okay. Amen. If you don't learn that test and that lesson in that moment, you're gonna leave that relationship and get into another relationship. Yes. 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 So, I do want to uh, talk about my husband. All right. <laughs> I asked God to remove him out of my life before he was my husband. Because I, I'm like, okay, I don't know this boy. He's from the west side of Rockford. Ugh. You know? <laughs> that was just my mindset. But God never removed him out of my life. He put, my, he put, me, he put him in my life to help me grow. Yeah. The little girl that was still stuck in that domestic violence, insecurities and all of that, yeah. he put my husband in my life to bring that, bring this woman mm -hmm. up oh, out of me. Okay? I want to tell you thank you, baby. You're welcome, I love baby. you. I, love I you am too. in love with you. And I thank you for allowing God to use you. Yes. Yes. Alright, so in closing, I want to encourage you guys. Talk to your kids about healthy boundaries. Yes. That yes. was one of the things that was lacked in my household. Well, in my mother's household. Mm -hmm. Tell them it's not okay to use violence against those that we love. Yes. yes. That's right. That's right. Ask your kids school. If they have a dating violence policy and what education the kids are getting in school about these things. Mm -hmm. The state requires this. And our schools need to comply. Mm -hmm. Yes. Again, y'all, I want to thank y'all for sitting and supporting Janine. Janine, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. Mm -hmm. Again, my name is Diamond Edwards, and I am a domestic violence Ooh. survivor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Francis. Hey, hey y'all, so we got Francis here. So Francis interviewed me about a minute ago and I messed up. So who is this? Who is this I'm talking to? Hey you guys, this is Francis Frankie Sanders. Okay. And I am a traveling mixologist. I do hostings for birthday parties, weddings, whatever. If you have an occasion, I make custom color juices for you. I uh, sell juices for the kids and I make drinks for the adults. Okay. So you guys, y'all can hit me up on Francis Frankie Sanders on Facebook. Also, you can hit me or I'm just Frankie on YouTube or either TikTok. Oh my God, right. I didn't know you was on YouTube. Ah, follow him everywhere, okay? <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you for your support. All right. I want to say thank you to Janine for giving me this opportunity. Um, it's like we're at the end now, but it is okay. I'm okay, y'all, so me and my son just made it to the mall. This is my boy. Those of you that have been watching my video, y'all know this is my baby. Yep. So, <laughs> uh, we at the mall. I need to go shopping for, I need to go shopping for um, some big pants for my outfit tomorrow. So, I'm about to go. I think Rue 21 will have it or um, Charlotte Rose will have it. So, let's go shopping, y'all.
with y'all. So we just left Express. I had to stop in Express real fast because Express had some cute stuff. They always got some cute stuff. They get me on the, the vibe of Zara. But I really got to make my way to Route 21 and Charlotte Rose. Okay? Okay, y'all. So I'm in the fitting room and I got to try out these two pants. Let's see how that goes. Person, you say I ain't got my lashes on, right? What do you need? You had a lot. I did. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm trying on pants, uh -huh. and I just did this, and it fell off. Oh, oh my God! Both of them? No, no, one, one, and oh. I just pulled the other one off. The other, this is a vlog. Yeah, it did. It did. Now y'all see, I lost my lashes, right? This is crazy. So while I was trying on the clothes, I lost my lashes. I lifted this lash for the last time, and it just fell off. Like that's a shame, ain't it? It's a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but your girl still look fire, as y'all already know. I'm gonna slap these lashes right back on and we're gonna get it on. We're gonna get it on, okay? But let me show y'all. This fragrance right here smells so good. Okay, what you get? Ooh, I mean, ooh she gave you a lot. Oh, this boy really think he on. Oh, let's Oh, he think he owns. Oh. <laughs> you know that was it. Oh my gosh, DJ, you happy that you yeah. got some samples? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like the like one of these bars. Okay. But um. Mm -mm. Oh. Wait for me. Wait for me. Wait. Oh, I got that other. Oh, oh, that boy gonna be smelling good. Ooh, ooh, get it, boy. Ooh, ooh. Beat my mama to the shop, ayy. Um, I just made it to the shop to just chill out with my mom and my sister. So this is a slow week for your girl in the beauty spa. So I'm like, okay, what's the best thing I can do to be productive for myself, my life, and my business? So what I'm going to do is just chill out with my family and um, get on my computer and start start brainstorming on what I can do to push emails what emails can I push so if those of you that's in business that don't know about emails you kind of starting up late you kind of behind with it because uh emails is where it's at right now when it comes down to pushing your brand and it's not just posting on social media you have to find other outlets to push your brand so uh this is a quick little keys for you guys I'm gonna drop keys for y'all get get a part of some type of email programming so you can start continuing to so you can build your email list and so you can let people know about what you got going on at your business so um look at my mama she loud but anyways uh so yeah that's a quick little key for you guys and before y'all make sure y'all subscribe because y'all are in for a treat um but like I said, oh, before I go, um, what I got going on this the rest of this week. So I got some clients here and there, and I'm gonna still stay productive on my during my dry times. So uh, my mission is to basically bring you guys along with and give you guys some uh, business, some business keys. And your girl was chosen to be a host at a brunch this Sunday. It's a pink brunch. Big shouts out to Tavis. I thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. So y'all already know I'm gonna bring you guys along with when it comes down to that. So y'all can see your girl in action this will be my first host event so yeah <laughs> um i'm waiting on my outfits right now i wish i could show y'all my outfits right now i don't even know what they gonna look like hopefully i'm looking like a doll i get my hair done on thursday my sister will be doing it as y'all know she is my loctician and those of you that uh follow me because of my locks 
I thank y'all for continuing to watch my videos, even though it's not pertaining to my locks, but y'all can see your girl locks is locking. My locks is locking, okay? But anyways, um, enough of the talk. I'm just gonna bring you guys along with, um, I'm gonna try to make this video I'm gonna try to make this vlog as exciting and fun as possible. I don't even, at this point, I don't even know what I'm gonna show you guys. I just know I need to show y'all something, especially to stay current with my YouTube. But yeah, so I just made it here. Um, wow. Y'all, I just left Panera, Panera Bread, and they spelled my name totally wrong. Check this out. Look how they spelled my name. Girl, what? Hold on. What? Where is the A? Do you not know how to spell? I ain't trying to be like that, but do you not know how to spell? <laughs> oh! Oh, I didn't tell y'all. My mama is getting locks today. She getting her hair finished by my loving sister. Portia is going to be sold up when it come down to these locks. Look at the back of my mama's head. They seen them? No, I was looking at But anyway, um, so I just made it into the... Uh, the salon and now I'm about to go ahead and eat real fast and then I'm going to start my brainstorming on how can I market my business to other people via email okay so yeah y'all just sit in y'all just sit in and um also make sure y'all comment below and let me know what kind of videos do y'all want to see because at this point I don't know what to show y'all I can just only show y'all my highlights um and I don't want to be everywhere. I don't want my I don't want my blogs. I mean my my videos to be everywhere. I, I still want it to be a little structured. So yeah, help me out, y'all. Something you like your girlfriend to do to your face? I want to say sit on it. Yes! <laughs> sit on it! Okay, y'all. So your girl is at home. This is the next day of my productive week. This is November first, and I'm still working on getting my emails out. This email game is not for the week. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Like, you have to be all the way organized. Like, yesterday, almost everything I did was 
mapped out what days I wanted to put my emails out. What did I want to even put out? And now today is actually is putting it into play. So I got one client today. I don't think I'm gonna take you guys along with it because y'all know about hold on. So I'm not gonna bring y'all along with because I feel like almost every every other video that I do post when I'm showing a um a vlog, I'm at the spa. And I know some people well actually I don't know. I don't even know what y'all wanna watch. Like I noticed that my last video didn't do so well. It didn't get up to a hundred views. I mean that's my goal is for me to get to a, get up to a hundred views. But it seemed as though my vlogs do better than me just sitting down talking to you guys. So, you know, if y'all not commenting below and let me know what y'all want to see. I'm just going to try to give y'all what I think y'all want to see. And evidently, <clears throat> me talking and just talking does nothing for y'all. So, tomorrow I go get my hair done. I get uh my sister want to do like uh what is those called like these like uh medium size knotless braids I don't know what they call but it's like she gonna take like this much of locks and put it in one big jumbo braid and and blah 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 and so I'm gonna bring you guys along with that I gotta go get my nails done I don't know if my um my little sister gonna be able to do my nails this time around she's talking about I'm not about to do nails during the weekday anymore. Uh, what? So, I'm struck. But you know, your girl got to get her nails done for this hosting event. Okay, about this hosting event. Like I told y'all in the car, me doing this hosting event, this will be my first hosting event, so I am excited about this hosting event. And... I just feel like in real time, in person, like, I give all the vibes. Like, I just like to have fun. I like to to amp people up for them to have fun. So, I feel like this hosting event is going to go good. Um, We are coming all together to celebrate Tahavis' birthday. Big shout out to Tahavis. Tahavis, if you're seeing this, if you're watching this, comment below, okay? Don't just watch it and not say nothing. Comment below so I know that you're here. Okay, but, um, yeah, so that's that. So, um, I got to get myself prepared for November. As y'all know that, uh-oh, as y'all know that we have Thanksgiving coming up and after that is Black Friday. So, I got to come up with the offer for Black Friday to put out there. So, um, yeah, your girl got a lot to do. Like, behind the scenes of business is not just, I'm going to post a I'm going to post the post on social media and that's going to be that. It's not even that. It's deeper than that. Like, you have to have everything, all your ducks in a row as far as, um, like I said, emails in the beginning. Um, even to map out what you're going to put on the email. Um, what else? It's just, it's so much. It's so much. But it's it's doable. But it's also so much, especially by me being a one-man show when it comes down to this business thing. I have to start making connections with people that I feel like I can trust to be able to delegate some of these tasks to. Such as a simple assistant to like answer the phone when it comes down to people that mess up on their appointment and they want to move it. Like I'm taking time out to stop and readjust people's appointments when I can just delegate that to an assistant, you know? Or even like taking my time and creating my digital advertisements and stuff like that. Like I do all of that. So it's kind of like challenging to be able to be able to be at vendor events and uh, speaking engagements and all of that. And I still have to do all the back end of the, the back work. Yeah, it can be tough, y'all. It can be big time tough. But... As of right now, um, 
I'm gonna minimize the complaints and just keep keep doing it until I run into those right people and making those right connections at this point. Um, are you if you are in business, please comment below and let me know what business you run and how long you've been in business. Like I'm really interested in that. I do want to build a community of people that um that's go getters that's about their money that i can connect with so if you are a youtuber and you are in business like i said in my last 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 video make sure you comment below i'm sorry y'all i'm paying attention to make sure y'all comment below and let me know who you are let yourself be known so today like i said i don't have much going on um i'm debating if i'm going to do my product photo shoot I got my sweaters in for Diamond Keys Beauty Spa. Um, those supposed to have been launched last year, but since I'm so behind, I'm not going to do a big crazy launch. I'm just going to do like a simple post and a simple email push. Uh, a simple post on social media and a simple email push to let them know, hey, my products are in. And to those of you that's watching my YouTube video right now, you guys are more than welcome to click the link below. I will be putting my link so you can have access to all the products that I do have on the market so y'all can support your girl, okay? So, uh, my Diamond Keys sweaters, they're just my um, logo of Diamond Keys on black sweaters. I carry the hoodies and I carry the crew necks as of right now. So... My mission is to see which one is going to sell out quicker. So if let's say that I have the crew necks that sell out quicker, then that's those are the, the sweaters that I'm going to be putting more of my attention in and posting. Now, if the hoodies sell, then y'all know it's like vice versa. But anyway, um, and then my lash, my lash and eyebrow serum, those, I want to launch those and actually do like a big launch but I have been like posting like I have been posting my clients like do I do boomerangs on Instagram to show people like hey they are available but I think I need to do a whole photo shoot to show them like hey it's really here go on my website and go check it out right so if you guys are interested in that y'all can always like I said click the link below and y'all can purchase my lash and brow growth serum and in or you can purchase my sweaters the diamond key sweaters so as of right now i do have another type of sweater that'll be coming out real soon i'm not going to tell you guys right now y'all just gonna have to stick around to see this dope logo that i came up with but um yeah you know your girl's just here in her everyday life being a business owner staying um current with with what's going on so i'm about to just get to um doing some important things that I need to do as far as my business. So y'all can just chill out. Okay, 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 okay. I know I did say chill out, but this is another encouragement. I wanna tell all the business owners out there, or if you aspiring to start your own business, once life get hard, or it just gets hard for you to run your business, do it hard. It may sound cliche, but this is a pick me up. Keep pushing. Your business is gonna make it and it's only gonna survive off of you. Well, this do conclude my video, and I do appreciate you guys watching it this long. Y'all just make sure y'all subscribe, comment, and give me a like, all right? So you guys can be around when I post my next hosting video, all right? Talk to y'all later. Bye.